All right, all right. It is journal entry number seven um, into Legally Blindness. Uh, so, uh, great news. Um, got another week of holding steady at about 15 inches of function of visibility. Uh, that is fantastic. Um, hopefully it stays that way. Uh, again, uh, talking about the, the R up there, about 15 inches away, it's pretty clear. Um, and then, uh, so at the end of the day, I'm, I'm really not complaining. Um, if it drops, it drops, we'll deal with it. But at the end of the day, um, pretty happy with that. Can't complain. Um, did make some adjustments uh, in the last week or so that uh, have made a big difference, and I'd highly recommend it if uh, if you're struggling. Uh, and that is that all of my monitors are on ARMS now, um, on my personal machines, um, my work machines, everything. Um, and basically, I've pulled all the monitors up so that they're about roughly about my functional vision, about 15 inches um, from the front of the desk, which has helped a ton uh, because um, I hadn't realized at the end of the day, I was back aches, neck aches, more than normal. Um, and I got to looking at it and what it ended up being was I was slouched and hunched forward, um, not realizing it, just naturally trying to get closer to the screens. Um, so definitely worth an investment to get the screens closer to you. Uh, it's uh, it's been fantastic. I've been working that way for a few days now. Um, also been doing that on my gaming rig for a few days now. And it really, really has made a big difference um, in the respects of not having the, as much back and neck pain at the end of the day. So uh, if uh, you don't have a setup like that, I highly recommend looking into it. Um, cheaper arms, you know, can, can be found pretty reasonable on Amazon. Um, you know, there are more expensive ones uh, depending on what you got to do. But I uh, highly recommend that. Um, had a pretty good week. Uh, used the cane quite a bit, um, which has uh, been helpful. Um, got uh, left uh, at, at the counter area in one or two places, but um, my spouse and I are, are coming to terms with that a little more. It's, uh, we're just laughing it off now. It's a lot less frustration. It's, um, in fact, we were in a, a tire store because we had a flat tire and um, walked off, left me, and um, she literally said to the uh, person at the counter, she says, oh, crap, I forgot my husband. He's blind. I'll be back. And just we just laughed about it, and, you know, we walked up there. Uh, so not taking it too seriously, I think, uh, is, is probably the learning over the last several weeks, um, not getting as frustrated uh, with those situations. They're going to happen. Just smile, laugh, and move on. Um, and that's the, probably the best advice I can give myself and anybody else who's struggling with that. Um, the, uh, been working on fusion, uh, and if, uh, you, uh, are dealing with any visual impairment issues, um, windows narrator and windows magnifier are okay. They're not great. Um, fusion is fantastic. Uh, it basically is a windows narrator where it'll talk to you. Um, and, uh, windows magnifier where it'll magnify portions of the screen. On steroids I mean it's fantastic now, there's one major drawback and that is at this time at the time I'm making this video um, if you use a rectangular lens magnifier where it goes around the screen instead of blowing up the whole screen um, you can only use one screen at a time if you have multiple screens they deactivate that on fusion for some weird reason uh, it works on Windows uh, magnifier and uh, that's really the way I like to use it because I, I don't lose the context of the background of what's going on so I'm having to make some modifications and then go to single screen setups um, instead of the what I'm used to which is a bunch of multi screens and things um, however uh, for what fusion can do it's it's a small concession because it, it really really is good um, the uh, one of the things that it does uh, I will say is um, with the windows as you accelerate the speed of narrator um, when, for me anyway, um, I'm on number 13, which is about 13 times speaking speed, just about. Uh, but at any rate, when I'm on 13, um, go to 14, it it's such a jump that it becomes a, a chipmunk that's indistinguishable. Um, whereas with Fusion, you could do micro movements. So as you learn to hear faster and faster, you can move it up in smaller increments. Um, which helps you move up, I think, faster. Um, 
I will say that I'm um, pretty happy with where that's come along um, since uh, since really starting to focus on that a couple of months ago, uh, playing things and, and auditory listening to them. Um, I can listen uh, and comprehend um, so much faster than I can read now. And, and I mean to the tune of literally six to ten times faster. Uh, so you can get there. It just takes a lot of practice. Um, but if it tells you anything, when, when my spouse uh, walks by and, and hears uh, whether I'm listening to a book on tape or whether I'm, I'm listening to a website or something, um, she's, she literally is like, how can you, that's all just gibber. How can you, and, and I can, I know exactly what was on the Wall Street Journal page and I can read um, an entire article that says it'll read in seven minutes. I can audio listen to that now in about a minute and a half and comprehend it. Um, which is fantastic. Uh, so, and I am not by any means um, an expert on that. There are, there are people out there who can listen at an ungodly rate of speed. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, that could become a, a competitive advantage because I can digest a lot more material a lot faster than somebody who's sighted who's trying to do it uh, visually. Um, I mean, I, I'm so excited to go through some, some of these larger documents now. Um, at a much, much higher rate of speed and, and truly digesting it. And uh, it's, it's really exciting. So um, Fusion is not cheap, um, you know, so there are other options out there if, if you can't get your hands on that. Um, the Windows and generic ones are okay, but um, there are some other free ones that are not great, not, not as good as Fusion, but, but they're better than Windows-based. So. Um, I highly uh, recommend looking into that. One of them starts with a NAB or NAD. If you just Google, um, you know, it, it'll pop up. Uh, so at any rate, um, good stuff. Um, Going to keep rocking and rolling, keep smiling, and um, keep getting more adjusted to this every day and not, uh, not taking things too seriously. Just uh, keep smiling and... Uh, I will say, you know, I, I have no idea what uh, has arrested the fall of my vision. Um, you know, I've uh, lowered my stress, uh, taken, uh, taken some uh, wusa, if you will, to, um, just trying to zen it out uh, when I can. You know, sit and listen to the birds a little bit here and there, try to slow down a little bit, um, which is hard for me. Um, that's the only big change I've made in my life. Um, I'm not saying that lowering the stress is what's arrested the vision loss, but they do say there's a correlation, so uh, maybe. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to keep on working on it. All right, guys. Well, I really, really do hope and uh, pray that um, things keep going well, and, uh, and they will. Uh, it really comes back to attitude, um, I think, in, in a lot of this. And if you can keep the right smile on, you can keep moving forward, um, then at the end of the day, all will be good. So, well... Y'all have a good one out there. Peace out, Girl Scout.